Hi, everyone. So today we're going to talk about in science a term that can be difficult. It is pronounced symbiosis. Symbiosis. Okay, we'll do lots of practice and have you investigate um, this term symbiosis as well. Okay, so follow along during this presentation. Symbiosis is a long term interactive relationship between two different organisms in our ecosystem. That is bringing us here to this next type of conversation that there is this term symbiosis. It's a relationship, but there are three types in that ecosystem. Okay. So right now let's just pronounce these three types. There's commensalism, commensalism, there's mutualism, and parasitism. Symbiosis is a relationship between two different organisms. Three types, commensalism, mutualism, parasitism. This, I think, is the hardest one. So let's start here. There's one type of relationship that organisms in our ecosystem have called commensalism. That's when two organisms, okay, they're having this relationship, one benefits and the other is not helped or harmed. One is not helped or harmed. So one is getting something from it, and another organism is not helped or harmed. We have a second type of symbiosis called mutualism. That's when two organisms both get something from each other. They are both benefiting, okay? Then we have a third type called parasitism. That's when two organisms, again, symbiosis means they're having these relationships. And in parasitism, one organism benefits and the other is harmed, is harmed. So commensalism, one gets something out of the other. The other is not helped or harmed. Mutualism, both getting something from each other. Then we have parasitism. One benefits and the other is harmed. So we're going to look at an example and discuss what type of symbiosis it is, okay? Mm -hmm. If bees fly from flower to flower, gathering their nectar, which they then make into food for their colonies, when they land in a flower, the bees are getting pollen, okay? So the bees are landing on the flower. The bees are getting pollen, okay? And when they land in the next flower, some of that pollen they got from the first one rubs off, pollinates a plant, and the plant is able to reproduce, okay? So the relationship is between the bee and the flower. We got to figure out, are they both getting something out of it, like food and the other flowers getting pollination? Or is one being harmed? Is one getting something and the other's not harmed? Is one hurting the other? Okay, so in this case, the bee is getting pollen and the flower is getting pollinated or able to reproduce. They're both having a relationship. They get something from each other. So that would be an example of mutualism. They're both benefiting, okay? Let's take a look at this one. A spider crab lives in the shallow areas of the ocean floor, and greenish brown algae lives on the crab's back. It makes the crab able to blend in with their environment and be unnoticed by the predators. So the spider crab is getting a home, okay? And the algae is causing the crab to blend in with its environment and in turn, not be eaten by any predators. So this is, again, another type of mutualism. They're both benefiting, whether it's getting a home and one organism is getting um, camouflage, blending in with its environment, okay? Here's one called commensalism. Let's talk about why. So the Arctic fox follows caribou while they forage for grasses. The caribou dig in the snow to get the grasses. Once a caribou digs up the soil, the Arctic fox comes and hunts some of the underground mammals that have come closer to the surface 